So what is a hiatal hernia? Folks have asked, people want to know. What is a, and that's the easy part, hiatal of or pertaining to the hiatus? The hiatus of what? Of the respiratory diaphragm. So the respiratory diaphragm, take a breath. When you do, your diaphragm is contracting, increasing the thoracic space, sucking air in from the atmosphere. So here's our diaphragm, and here are the crus, or the legs of the diaphragm, and up a little, and, and going right through the crus of the diaphragm, those legs, is the aorta. Okay, so the aorta is coming from the heart, which is sitting right on top of the diaphragm, sending off this thing, the aortic arch here, coming behind and then through the diaphragm. So the aorta doesn't actually poke a hole in the diaphragm. It kind of goes underneath it. Well, what else goes by the diaphragm? How about here, the vena cava? That's also from the heart. Let's do this in blue, because this is the blood flowing uh, from your lower body up through the diaphragm, and it actually does pass through an aperture, or an opening, to return to the heart here in the right atrium. So we have the aorta, the inferior vena cava, now, what about over here? In the diaphragm, we have another pathway through it. Now, this aperture is for the esophagus. So we call it the esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm because the esophagus, hey, your food goes in your mouth, goes down, goes down your throat, glug, 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 behind your heart, the esophagus does. What's, well, how are we gonna paint the esophagus? Let's do it in green. Esophagus, there's your mouth, tongue, see it? That's me. <laughs> ah, okay. So the tongue it doesn't really reach to the arch of the aorta, but you get the idea. The food goes down, goes behind the heart, and it's going to come through here, right, into the shape of the stomach. So the esophageal hiatus is where a hiatal hernia would happen. But how? Well, you know how cameras work, right? They have an aperture, and it dials open, and it dials closed, and changes the amount of light that goes through. Well, what if the aperture, right, the aperture for the esophagus through to the stomach opens too much? Too much light? No. Too much, <laughs> too much failure of the diaphragm to hold the organs back from migrating through the higher pressure zone of the abdomen into the lower pressure zone of the chest. We learned about that in another video. Watch it. It's cool. So if for whatever reason, maybe a bacterial infection, maybe some sort of loss of structural integrity at the, at the uh, esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm, it opens up a little too wide, and what happens? The stomach, or some portion of it, gets sucked up into the lower pressure zone. Now, that can be uncomfortable to have half of your stomach in your abdominal area and the other half of it poking into the thorax. So, I've seen this many, many times. Uh, where this aperture uh, has, has opened up. And many of you watching this video may actually have experienced a, a hiatal hernia or have a partial one. Uh, and what we're looking at then is a failure of the diaphragm here, right, at this point here, to resist the migration of the stomach into the thoracic space, resulting in kind of a bubbling. Let me draw it over here. So now it's gone through, and we have a little bubble here of your stomach organ, which now looks a little smaller on this side, and it has, it's like it has a girdle. Now the hiatus is like a girdle, and when the food comes into the stomach, it, it's, it's, being, <laughs> it's being squished in a way, and so that's really uncomfortable. I was trying to get my hiatal hernia to drop back down. This is not necessarily the most effective method, but that's kind of like where you want it. It's like, how do we get the pressure differentials to restore? Now, I'm imagining uh, a helpful discussion of people who've resolved their hiatal hernias to, to populate the thread beneath this video. Uh, I'm not a doctor, not a physician. Uh, I am uh, a student of anatomy. My PhD is in ethics, so I'm not trying to practice medicine here for all of you who, who might think so. But I do feel that it's helpful to know what is a hiatal hernia, and I hope you understand it a little better now. And they can be resolved. 
Just so you know that, if you're, if you're diagnosed with a hiatal hernia, that's not the end of the story, okay? You can heal that. So uh, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.